Hi, here we are today with Paul Jansen, owner proprietor of Citizen Vine, a true treasure for us here in Lincoln. Paul, thank you so much for being here with us today. So tell us a little bit about Citizen Vine and how it came about and why you chose Lincoln. Yeah, well, um, my wife and I are from Lincoln. We live right up the street here. And um, we always wanted a place that we could go hang out uh, that was casual and we could have some good small bites of food, uh, have a nice relaxing glass of wine. And, uh, and not have it be uh, pretentious in any way like some wine bars are. And so my wife finally said one day, why don't you build it uh, and then we can go to it. Um, so that's what I ended up doing. So uh, uh, it was convenient. Um, Lincoln is, uh, is our home. And so um, I signed the lease and uh, came up with the concept and developed everything and the food, food menu. And uh, here we are a year and seven months later. Well, it's wonderful, and it's actually one of my most favorite places here in Lincoln, too. So I think it definitely filled the void for many residents. So the, the, the customer base, the people that come in here, are they mostly from Lincoln? Are they from Roseville, South Placer? What's, what's that look like? Yeah, um, as work continues to spread, we get people from um, um, other areas. So we get, um, you know, Loomis, Roseville, uh, in Granite Bay, um, some from even Sacramento come up that have heard about us. Mm -hmm. um, the majority of our clientele is from uh, Lincoln, okay. um, which is good, and the Lincoln uh, residents are very supportive, and uh, they like to support their local businesses, and um, we're really grateful for that. We get a good contingency from Sun City, mm -hmm. and then um, and then from Tall Bridges and all of the other So it's been, it's been a lot of fun, and they've been great. So I know, um, I even though I live here in Lincoln, I commute downtown to Sacramento, and I think this place beats anything that's in Midtown or East Sac or anything like that. So I heard a rumor, but I'm pretty sure it's true. You guys just expanded into Folsom, right? Yeah, that was actually um, seven months ago. Mm -hmm. We opened our second location in Folsom on uh, historic Sutter Street, and that has been doing really well. It's actually mm -hmm. been um, beating this location uh, by a little bit. So. Uh, that's really positive. And uh, if, you're, if it worked for Lincoln um, and people love it here, why not spread it to uh, other parts of the uh, of the state? So we're starting with uh, Folsom, and then uh, we've got some uh, top secret plans uh, in the works for perhaps a number three. Wow, that's very awesome. That's cool. So getting back to here in Lincoln, I mean, I certainly have my favorites when I come in, which is often, but. Tell me, I'm just curious, like what's the most popular thing, wine that you serve? Um, it depends. Um, we've got uh, some of our, our happy hour wines mm -hmm. are um, really popular. We have a Carmenier Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's probably our most popular selling white. And um, at happy hour, it's six bucks. You can't beat that. Um, that's very popular. And we also have a red blend uh, called Moto mm -hmm. uh, that we have. It's um, our most popular selling red. So and also at six bucks on happy hour. So. Um, our wines range from, um, you know, Stag's Leap, Artemis, and Canis, and some high-end stuff, uh, down to a six-dollar glass. What, what's your favorite? I've got a few. It depends. Uh, it depends on what uh, what what mood I'm in. And okay. What the season is, but um, I've got a few. We have a Canis Conundrum. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. I uh, like the Prisoner um, uh, from the Wagon. No, it's an it's an amazing selection, and I think that's why people are so excited to have it here in Lincoln. So the food—that's my other favorite piece of this—is the, the food that you guys have. You have such an amazing menu, so creative. Everything is so fresh. What's the most popular bites that you yeah, serve? So our, our signature dish is our um, is our hockey crisp. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, we won an award for it, and we've got the Golden Fork Award for the best food bite, and um, that's uh, we sell a ton of that. Um, the record so far is eight orders by one person. Oh so if anybody wants to come in and try and break the record, you're more than welcome to. So, um, but that's our most popular selling dish, and all the food is um, is meant to be uh, simple, mm -hmm. uh, but elevated just a little bit. And it's um, it's all stuff I used to serve my friends and family at my house. So I wanted to try and bring that into citizen life. Oh, I love that. Um, I know you guys do brunch too, right? That's right. We just started doing brunch. Um, we're on our third week this week. Um, live music. Mm -hmm. Our brunch runs from 10 to 1. We do uh, gourmet French style made to order omelets. So you come mm -hmm. in and you pick your uh, your ingredients and we make them for you here. Um, uh, we've got some good uh, homemade biscuits and gravy and bottomless mimosas for 10 bucks. Um, and our signature uh, Bloody Mary. <laughs> That's why I was waiting for you to say the yeah. Bloody Mary. I mean, the slider that goes with the Bloody Mary is pretty spectacular. It's been, uh, infamous. Yeah, so <laughs> 
fun. Um, well, thank you so much for, for actually opening this in Lincoln. I yeah. think that it was something that our town needed, and I think people I know myself and my friends, we really enjoy coming to, and it's been a wonderful spot, yes. I know, for so many people. So thank you for all that you do and, yeah. and, and for opening it here. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks.